Who wants a PPE? Yeah, you know me. Who wants a PPE? Hey, everybody. Yes, today we are turning a cake into a protective mask. Hi, everyone. My name is Whoopi Goldberg. Welcome to Koali Pops. Let's get started. <sighs> Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what kind of cake you'd like to see me make next. I decided to make this mask cake to celebrate all of the essential workers that are literally risking their lives so I can sit home and watch Netflix. And not just Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, The Quib Quibble, Quib Quibble, Quib Quibble. Thank you, thank you, thank you for risking your life and not, not even just your life, but everyone else in your household. Thank you for keeping us safe. Let's get to this cake. Now this cake, if it can even be considered a cake, it is probably like 50% fondant because it's so small. I'm actually using not even an entire cake. I'm using the leftovers from another cake that I'm creating. I'm using the top part. And the top part of this cake, which I would usually discard or eat off camera, I cut it in half and I'm gonna treat this like an entire cake even though this is throwaway stuff. <laughs> so we got some buttercream in the middle and then we're gonna add the top part of the bump, the cake bump. It's so little. <laughs> I've never made a cake with scraps like this before. But I figured, you know what? Let's not throw this away. Let's actually use this to create something amazing. Who knew that a surgical mask would be amazing? <laughs> That's where we are in 2020. After the crumb coat, I'm gonna add some fondant on top to create some texture for my mask. Now, one of the things that's always said about Filipino people is that a lot of our moms, sisters, cousins, whatever, were nurses. And I would just like to say that apart from myself, my family is living up to that stereotype. <laughs> Essential workers, especially nurses, really hit home for me. Uh, just because my mom is a registered nurse, lots of my aunts are registered nurses. My cousin works for the Department of Health. And if you read my post about my coronavirus cake on my Instagram, you understand how devastating it was for me when I realized what this could do to my family. I added my top layer fondant, which is baby blue. I pushed it into all of the cracks and then I just cut away all of the excess fondant. Then I started to work on my seams. Ooh, I never get to use this tool. One of my favorites. This was probably one of the hardest things because I had to make sure that these three seams all lined up together and that they were equally spaced. I messed up a few times, but can you tell? No, you can't. I've had a ton of breakdowns about the coronavirus and I was already lucky enough to be able to work from home when this began. So I can't imagine how it is to have somebody who goes to work all day, every day, in spite of what's happening to this country, to this world. And I wanna make sure that I say thank you. Thank you for keeping the hospitals open and working. Thank you for keeping Costco open and working. Thank you for giving me my groceries at my doorstep, for leaving the food from my favorite restaurant, Sambu, on my doorstep. Thank you for allowing me to shelter in place comfortably while you go to work touching all those surfaces that Dr. Fauci told us not to touch. Your risk kept me and so many others safe, so thank you. After I finished with my mask, I added two white strips of fondant to create the ends of my mask. Ooh, those strips look legit. They really sell that this is a mask and not a cake, huh? My PPE protective mask was complete. Oh, last but not least, we gotta cut into this baby. What? <laughs> I started this cake at 11 at night and I finished it around 2. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Say thank you to any essential worker that you see and meet while you're in quarantine. And also remember to check out all the websites in my description box, which feature organizations that are helping people who are deeply affected by the coronavirus. And also remember to order food from your favorite restaurants because it's said that 30% of restaurants will not be opening again, including soup plantation, which is so sad. So if you you want to go to your favorite restaurant, eat a full meal when this is over, make sure to order food if you can to keep it alive while you're in quarantine. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you very soon. Peace.